Instructor Boots back again today talking about solving inequality word problems with tape diagrams. So it's going to be a really quick video, just two example problems, and hopefully you can take these skills and apply them to other problems. So example one says the Wakandans need at least 234 ounces of vibranium to make a new pencil for taking their state test. They have 87 ounces. Write an inequality that correctly describes these conditions for how much more they need M. So M being the variable that's going to represent how much more they need. So even though there isn't a question, it's really asking us to find basically the equation or inequality that we need to figure out how much more they need. So our statement's going to say they need blank more ounces of vibranium. And you always want your handwriting to be a little bit better. So we're looking for anything about ounces or vibranium. They need at least, that's very, very important, right? So it's not exactly, but at least 234 ounces of vibranium to make a new pencil. They have 87 ounces, and we want to write the inequality for how much more do they need. So we're focused on how to use tape diagrams to help us figure this out. So first of all, I know I'm looking for how much more I need, so that's going to be a part whole model. So I'm going ahead and go ahead and draw that, okay? And I know they need at least 234. So I'm going to put my 234 over here like it was a normal problem. But now it doesn't say they need exactly. It says they need at least. So what inequality would we use to represent that? That's the question, right? So when I think of inequalities, I kind of think about being at a theme park. So if you need to be at least four feet tall to ride a ride, that means you can be four feet, you can be five feet, you can be six feet, you can be 15 feet, although probably would not be acceptable on a ride. You can't be less than four feet. So at least four feet means four feet or greater. So at least 234 pounds means whatever this is has to be greater than or equal to 234. So they have, right, so I'm going to label what they have, 87. And 87, um, I don't know, it's roughly around right here probably. This is 87. My question mark goes right here for how much more do they need. Now, I can take this off of my tape diagram. So I can write 87. And then the variable that they gave us to represent how much more they need was M. So I'm going to say 87 plus M is going to be greater than or equal to 234 because again it needed to be at least 234 which means it could be equal to it or it needed to be greater than so now this is just becomes a normal equation i know i need to use my inverse operation of subtraction to solve for this so i'm going to take away 87 and in second grade they call it fact families but really inverse operations so i'm going to say m is going to be greater than or equal to and then I need to come over here and subtract 234 minus 87. More on the floor. Go next door, right? Get 10 more. 7. More on the floor. Go bar 100. It's going to be 4. We have 147. So I know M can be equal to or greater than 147, which is what I'm going to put right here, right? So if I put 147 right here, that's going to make my whole tape diagram greater than or equal to what they um, needed at least, which was 234. That's gonna be a pretty fantastic pencil if you ask me. So here we have example two, okay? The Black Panther and the Hulk weighed at most 870 pounds combined. The Hulk weighs 675 pounds, right? In an inequality that describes the weight of the Black Panther B. So B being the variable that's going to represent the weight of the Black Panther, right? So our statement should say, the Black Panther, oop, probably capitalize that. Weighs blank pounds. Okay, and so we are not looking for an exact answer because this is an inequality question. However, we are going to write this statement, um, even though it sounds like an exact answer, just to make sure it guides our thinking and what we should be identifying and the type of tape diagram should, we should be making. So we're looking for, think about pounds and everything about the Black Panther, obviously. 
we see this inequality word at most, and we need to circle that, very important, that tells us it's an inequality. 870 pounds, and then the word combined is very important. I circle that separately um, because that tells me 870 pounds is my total. The Hulk weighs 675 pounds, which makes a lot of sense because he should weigh a lot more than the Black Panther. And again, we're looking for the variable B that's going to represent the unknown quantity of what or how much the Black Panther weighs. So I'm going to draw my part whole model again, right? Because it gave me the total. And I'm, I'm trying to find a missing piece. And I'm going to put 870 right here, okay? And again, this says... Um, my, this is not exactly, right, because it's an inequality, and so it's saying at most 870 pounds. That means however much they weigh can be equal to it, but 870 pounds is the most it can be. So it can either be equal to it or less than 870 pounds, okay? And so we have our Hulk right here, and we already know his weight. That was 675, so we're going to label that H, and we know that our Black Panther, the variable B, and this is where our question mark is. That's what the question's asking us, right? So we know at most it can be 170, but it can also be less than. So now let's take off of the tape diagram and make our algebra equation. So this tape diagram is telling me that if I do 675 plus my variable or my unknown quantity B, those two numbers should be less than or exactly equal to 870. So from this point, all I'm doing is using my inverse operation of subtraction to help me find my missing addend. So I'm going to rewrite this as a subtraction problem using my fact family knowledge or, again, inverse operations. 870 minus 675. And so now I know that I can solve this for B. So 870, right, minus 675. More on the floor. Go next door. Get 10 more. That'll be five more on the floor. Go next door again, get 10 more. That should be nine, um, 16 groups of 10 minus seven groups of 10, right? And then 195. So the Black Panther, if the Hulk weighs 675, can equal or can weigh exactly 195 or less than 195. Because if you add those two numbers together, those two weights, it gives you exactly 870. And again, we said at most, right? Which means it can be 870. That's our the top ceiling or it can be anything under that. So that's kind of how, do you, how you can use your sides check, your statement and your tape diagram to help you visualize what's happening and then solve for your unknown quantity, even if it's not an equal sign, even if it's an inequality. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit. Please check out our other things at Instruct the Beats Official on YouTube. It's a channel. Um, and you can follow us on Instagram at, at Instruct the Beats. You can always email us at uh, Instruct the Beats at gmail.com. As always, please check out our other videos. Please subscribe. We appreciate all the support you guys give to us. And please um, check us out again when you need us. Instruct the Beats out.